Well, I had a hose reel hanging up here and the screw finally pulled out the, uh, the plastic anchor that was in there. Well, first I started off with one of those, uh, I forgot the name of it, concrete screws, those blue ones. I'll think of them here in a minute. And uh, that pulled out, so then I got a plastic anchor, try to exterior deck screw, and that pulled out. So now, now that I've got time and I don't need my hose right now, I'm going to show you how to fix this. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill this hole a little bit bigger than this. This is a 5 16 We're going to go to a, a half inch because we're going to use this super strength anchoring anchoring adhesive and uh, this stuff is not cheap so anyway what you do is you follow the directions comes with this it's got a cap and it, it's got two of these uh, what you call things here well, anyway you take the cap off this piece is on the end of the tube, so you just pull it out just enough to get it past that hog ring, and then you cut that off, because the reason you do that, there's a two-part system. In other words, there's two baggies in here with epoxy. One's the, uh, the resin, the other one's the hardener, and as it comes out, you can tell by this that it mixes together and then as it comes out the end then that's what goes in there is is mixed okay each time you use these things once you use it you got to pitch it out it comes with two so we need to get the other one so that being that the two have not mixed you put the cap on here keep it on good and tight until the next time you need it. Okay, these are one time use only. So you get this off of there. Cut this off. You're ready to screw this on there. And you want to get on the good and tight. And before we start, I'm going to drill this hole a little bigger anyway because I'm going to use a lag bolt and one reason why is because it's stronger than these deck screws and whatnot so we're going to drill this out to a half an inch and uh, if I use these screws you normally have to drill them out to five eighths or bigger so we're just going to use this let me drill that the next size This is that cotton picking fire brick. I'm gonna have to get a diamond blade. These diamond bits, boy, they just fly through the brick that's been fired hard as a rock. Okay, now you're gonna start seeing this stuff mix. Now it's real live epoxy when it gets to the end. And then you want to fill this hole up and just kind of come out to the edge and that way you can just knock that off. And then after this sets up we're going to drill it and then put a screw in there. And then we're going to find out how much it'll hold. Gonna take a day or two for this to set. I mean, it, it just takes about an hour for it to dry, but I don't know when fully cure is. Don't put, don't forget to put your cap back on. Get it on tight. Okay, we're gonna see how much this uh, epoxy can take. 
it's a deck screw and the shear factor is real low on them but the pull factor is something totally different so what we're going to do I've got a couple of Haydite blocks I don't think you're going to have anything much heavier than that on a straight pull with the epoxy that's on there. Of course, the bigger bolt you have, the better the shear factor. But, uh, alrighty. Well, I sure hope this helps. And thanks for watching.